This beginner JavaScript project almost broke me, but it also showed me something huge. I'm not the same coder I was a month ago. If you've been following my journey, stay with me until the end of this video because I'm going to show you the exact moment I realized I have fallen in love with coding. And that moment might just change how you see your own coding journey as well. When I first started coding, every little bug felt like a wall. Every syntax error felt like the computer was just telling me you're not ready for this. But here I am building another project. And instead of feeling stuck, I'm seeing problems as puzzles I want to solve. That shift, that's what today's story is all about. So this project was supposed to be beginner friendly, you know, something quick just to keep the momentum going. On paper, it looked like a breeze. In reality, I ran into logical issues, layout quirks, and code that just didn't behave correctly. But the difference now, instead of panicking, I started writing out my own steps. Like a detective, I was tracking the problem piece by piece till the picture became clear. Here's how it went down. First bug, my function was returning the wrong value. Instead of Googling right away, I wrote down the steps of what the code was supposed to do. Then I compared that to what it was actually doing. That one step, writing it out, showed me exactly where my logic had went wrong. Second bug, variables not updating when they should. Turns out I had the scope too narrowly and they were getting reset every loop. That used to be something I'd only find after hours of frustration, but now I spotted it in minutes and each fix made me more confident. Not because it was perfect code, but because it was my fix. Don't get me wrong, this wasn't a perfect sprint to the finish. There were moments where I stood at my screen thinking, why is this not working? There were moments where changing one line of code broke three other things. But here's the crazy part. Those moments are kind of fun now. Because every time I untangle something, it feels like I've leveled up as a developer. It's addictive in the best way. This is where it hit me. I'm not just following tutorials anymore. I'm actually creating my own troubleshooting process. Before, I would rely on the exact steps someone else gave me. Now I'm writing my own steps, making my own fixes, and building my own understanding. That's when you stop feeling like a beginner, even if you're still early in your journey. When the final version of the project ran, no errors, clean output, exactly how I imagined it, that's when it clicked. I love this. Not just the finished product, but the whole process of getting there. The late night problem solving, the trial and error, the aha moments, when it all makes sense. It's like building with Lego, but the bricks are pure logic and creativity. That joy is the real payoff of coding, and it's why I know I'm in this for the long run. This project might look simple to anyone else, but to me, it's proof. Proof that the time I've put in it is making me sharper, faster, and more confident. Proof that the frustrations I used to dread are now just stepping stones. Proof that falling in love with coding doesn't happen overnight. It happens bug by bug, fix by fix, win by win. Now here's where I want you to stick with me because my next project is going to push me even harder. It's going to take all the logic, the syntax, and problem solving I have learned and put it to the test in ways I've never tried before. If today was about realizing I love coding, the next video might be where I prove to myself I could build something truly impressive. So if you made it this far, you're going to want to see that. If you're on your own coding journey, remember this. You don't have to be perfect to be improving. Every single problem you solve is a level up. Every frustration you push through is proof you're becoming the kind of developer you want to be. And one day, you'll end up looking back at that code that used to scare you and smile. Because now, you know exactly what to do. I'll see you in the next one where we take this love for coding and build something unforgettable. Hope you guys ended up enjoying this. Leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure you guys end up hitting that subscribe button as we finally completed this little color picker game.